today on Divorce Court. I'm here because I feel like Kenneth is very disrespectful. He's not honest at all. He lies, he cheats. Um, I feel like he sleeps around with the whole Birmingham. And I mean everybody, I mean everybody and their mama. I'm here because I'm accused of cheating when she's the one cheating and had a baby outside our relationship. If Kenneth does not change his ways, when my lease is up in November, he will be moving out and I will be moving forward with my life. Divorce Court is now in session. Good day, ladies and gentlemen. I'm here with Tony Shaw and Kenneth Brown. The two of you have been together for five years, engaged for the last three. You have one child together. Ms. Shaw, you're 24 years old. Uh, Mr. Brown, you are 32, and you two aren't quite sure whether or not you should marry, so you've come to me for my opinion. You've taken my compatibility test and uh, given me some information, so I'm going to talk to you, and then I'm going to tell you what I believe you ought to do, my best advice, as if you were my children. Ms. Shaw, I'm going to start with you. Why don't you tell me you love this guy, but why are you concerned about whether or not you should marry him? The lies and him cheating. The constant cheats that I'm dealing with, um, the females coming to me... Uh, let me give you... Just let me tell you something. Mm -hmm. It's a girl that... Um, one of the parents that goes to my child's school, and I found out that he's sleeping with her. And it's just such a small world because... I'm at work, and her daughter see me. She like, hey, I know you. And I was like, well, how do you know me? She says, your son goes to my school. He's in the same class as me. So I'm looking at the mother. I'm like, oh, OK, cool. Mm -hmm. I check his voicemail. I look, um, I guess you could put the number in on Facebook, and you could type the number in, and they give you that person page name. I typed it in, found out who the female was, same exact female I seen as my job, same exact female I seen at the school. And to my surprise, Everything is true. I asked her about it. I confronted her. She said, yes, I am. He calls me. We speak daily, and... So Ooh. you were, because I see the smile on your face. Yeah. You were. Yeah, you... but it's, it's a story behind it all. Is there... Oh, there's always a story. Mm -mm. There's Ain't always no story a story. But it. I understand that, Ms. Shaw, you kind of knew what you were getting, because when you got with him, he was already with somebody else. Yes. And you were the side chick. And I'll admit today, I was the side chick when we met, but I didn't think that I was going to fall in love with someone that I had just been fooling around with. I didn't think it was going to go that way. But let me ask you a question. You, you, you're having <laughs> sex with somebody, you're seeing him all the time, and he's somebody else's w dude. Doesn't that make you feel badly at all about who you are and what you're doing? At first, it didn't, because... <laughs> First, it didn't due to the fact that I was young. I was only 17 years old. You know, when you're young, you're not thinking like how you're thinking with the head. I wasn't thinking at the time. Oh, listen, at 17, I wasn't doing that kind of nonsense. Yeah. I respect other people's stuff. You know, that's somebody else's stuff. She, she Mr. Was... Brown, was she a side chick when you were dealing with somebody else? In the beginning. In the beginning. Yes. And then when did you make her in the main dish? <laughs> When, when my son got involved, when she got pregnant. When she got pregnant. How long ago did she get pregnant? Um, it was five years ago. Five years ago. But he left you, right? He left me for eight months. Explain that, what happened. OK, so I told him I was pregnant, and he said, he said, it's not my baby, I'm not going to deal with it. And he left me, not for four or five months, but for a complete eight months. It was to the point where I had the adoption parents ready to take in my son when I gave birth to him. And he well... came back right before I did that. And it hurt in my heart because I was in the process of giving my own child up due to the fact that you left me high and dry and I'm pregnant. So I, I felt abandoned at the time. What changed your mind? What made you come back and, 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 and see what was up? Well, she had started doing crazy things. Like, she came to... I was working at a studio. She came to the studio and put a picture of me up, um, downgrade me to the Ooh. latest. So I went talk to the latest one, talked to me or whatever. No. She, she went way out the roof with He it. left me. Like, to a whole nother level. When I was pregnant, what mm -hmm. did you expect me to do out of anger? I'm a woman that's pregnant. I already have one child, and I'm not with the father of that child. And then now I'm pregnant, and you left me with a second child? And so you just went with I him was, with it. Yeah, I did. I, I went bizarre with it. Like, I just didn't care. I didn't care about anything. Yes, I did. Um, But he wanted to talk about what I've done. Let's talk about these text messages, how when you were cheating. Well, you tell me about those text messages oh, when he's cheating. I can't... I cannot say this on... She cheat too. On here, because, baby, this... Mm-mm. Don't call me baby, but... <laughs> she... She cheat too now. Mm-mm. She, she's not an angel. Mm-mm. She's not an angel. You know I'm an angel. Now, these are text messages. How current are they? Last year. 
last year. Yes, ma'am. Why you Since like y'all want to talk so bad, come mm. get his so stuff. I know, I know you see that one. I know you see that one. I ain't, I ain't no lies behind that at all. But she had, she had, she had, a, she had a child by another, by another man. We wasn't like, together. Why? We wasn't together. When, when did she... No, the first child she had by another guy. Then she had one with you. Yes. Then she had another one with another guy? Yes, ma'am. And it should have been mine. Oh. It should have been mine. Shoulda, coulda, woulda, but it wasn't. Should've he wasn't mine. doing his part. Your Honor, I got tired of losing. And when I say I got tired of losing, I lost two apartments of mine and then two of his. And when I say I got tired of losing, I broke it off. I was talking about I don't want to be with you no more. And then I met somebody else. It ain't like I just was like sleeping with uh, you and you then know, going. Can, can I say this about this? Can I say that? Go, go ahead. I know I'm you say it. I know I say it. Come on. Look at it. Oh, I did. Why would you get into such trashy talk with a, with another woman? To what, see, what? was it real? To see, was it the truth? Because I know sometimes females do lie. And I know that because I've done it before. But to see, was it real? Was she really telling the truth? And this girl wasn't lying. She knew exactly where I live, where I lay my head. Should no female know what me and my kids lay our head? We had separated. No, we wasn't we separated, separated when I got my first house. That's the story. I mean, your outrage is so selective. <laughs> I mean, you do this, that, and the other thing that just tacky foul, ratchet, and wrong, and then he does this other thing which is tacky, foul, ratchet, and wrong. But, but that's all you see, and you don't see how you invite that kind of behavior into your presence when you conduct yourself in a manner that would allow you but to be I, wrong I've like tried that. to get away from it. I've tried to become a better woman, and that's when we had separated. Uh, when we separated, the father of my third child, he actually left me when I was six months I, pregnant. That's how long was it for us to separate when she got into it with that guy? How long were you separated when you got into it with that About guy? About a month. Okay, I'm gonna catch my breath. <laughs> I'm always in the clinic. It's a trace of an STD. I can't get it alone. And when I was having sex with someone else, I was having protective sex. Now, Miss Shaw, you're claiming that he's giving you STDs, but we a had babies with a couple of them, so you couldn't have been wrapping it up all of the time. <laughs> We're not gonna get a lot of denials from your side, are we? I mean, you have been cheating on her while you were with her, correct? No, I haven't. Not at all? She feel like she can say when things on and when things off. That's not right, that's not fair. So she takes a break, goes and dates whoever right. she wants. So, so you, you've never cheated on her throughout, despite these emails. Those, are, those do not reflect any those, actions on your part. No, ma'am, those, those are times like when she's give her verbal word that we're separated. Okay, and let me ask you this, Mr. Brown. I understand there was a circumstance where you believe that she cheated on you with a man in your own home. Is that true? Yes. Tell me about that. When it happened? I play a little semi-pro football, and um, I was out of town, and uh, she started messing with this guy. And uh, when I got back from New Mexico, we were moving to the new house. I was packing stuff up in the truck, and she'll take the stuff around to the house. I'm thinking she taking the stuff out herself because I was staying at home with the kids. And she was coming back too fast. So I'm like, what? Come to find out, the, one of the guys she was messing with was helping her unload the stuff and put it in our house. And Did he that also happen? paid that rent. He was the reason why I had that house. If it wasn't for him, I would have never had the house. We would have been living God knows where, because my lease was up. So that man paid my rent up for a whole year, bought me a car. He done a lot of things. My so, but at that time, Kemp was gone for four months in New Mexico. That's when I was fooled with him. I had to beg him to come back because all of my money was stolen for me to move. He came back. Of course, I'm still fooling with this man because, as you see, those text messages, he still was fooling with her. Your Honor, I'm always in the clinic. The clinic You're ain't always gonna, in I'm what? I'm always in the clinic. How? I'm always in the clinic. If they, it, it may not be a, a STD. It may just be white cells, but it's a trace of an STD. I can't get it alone. I cannot. And when I was having sex with someone else, I was having protective sex. Now, Ms. Shaw, you're claiming that he's giving you STDs, but what I'm finding out is, I mean, you've had, you had babies up. with a couple of them, so you couldn't have been wrapping it up all of the time. <laughs> and, and I need to understand that you continued to see this one guy because he was paying the bills, and you were going to move him in, even in, in a house that this other cat paid for but for you. But he knew. He knew. He knew my whole situation. He knew that I asked the father of my child to come back. 
He knew that we were together. He knew that we was going to be living together. So he knew everything because he had something going on in his own house. So he was aware of everything, but... So everybody was just dipping and dabbling and doing whatever. Dipping and dabbing. No, wasn't Crazy. nobody... Yeah, it was just... Oh, my goodness. Then, then look, though, the guy came to the house one day. I was getting out of work. And um, I come down the street. The guy standing in front of in my driveway. Him and her out there, he out there yelling, like, airing her out, talking bad about her, trying to basically tell me what he was doing that was downgrading to her. Oh, but your honor, and while guess, he was doing I, oh, it, he had on. his side chick on guess. the phone listening. The girl in the text message. Well, I, you know, <laughs> you robbed this bank. No, well, you robbed that bank. I no. mean, you both, I mean, I don't even know. Why are you pointing at one another? There's no point in it. Everybody's sleeping with everybody. Who's <laughs> ever convenient? What? You know, I mean, I don't, I don't know how you gonna get mad at him because he had a side chick on the phone when you moving his stuff into some other dude's house paid for it because you were sleeping with him. But even when I left him alone, he continued to fool with this young lady. Not even just her, it's multiple females. Let's come down to the ex-girlfriend. We stayed in our third apartment. This girl was actually able to come exactly to where I live. How's that your ex-girlfriend know where we live? This was before all the cheating happened when it came down to me, before the third baby, before all of that. How did your ex-girlfriend know we live? Why is it a girl on Facebook even coming at me saying, oh, this is your fiance? Well, he did say he did, and he did Hey, well, your dude did. not only she, knew she, where you lived, he paid for she, it. Hey, she, <laughs> hey, she good at befriending, though. She'll befriend, she befriend a person just to get what she want to get out of I got it. Help I got her. it. I got it. Let me talk about how I tried to dance for him one time. I get up and I started shaking my little stuff and he was like, you need to move. You need to chill with all that. You need to act your age. Be grown. What did I do that was so wrong that I wanted to turn my man on in my house? Did you not appreciate the sexy dance? <laughs>
he just got something to say. Oh, let me talk about how I tried to dance for him one time. Just be, you know, do things to look different. Be sexy for him. He had some hip-hop music on. My baby's in a room sleep. I'm grown. We're grown. I want to dance for him. So, of course, I get up and I started shaking my little stuff and trying to turn him on. He was like, you need to move. You need to chill with all that. You need to act your age. Be grown. What did I do that was so wrong that I wanted to turn my man on in my house? Did you not appreciate the sexy day? <laughs> I did. I do all the time. So why would you tell me to move? Why Why would you move me out the way and make me feel like... Was he watching the game? No, no, no man. No, it was hip-hop. But, he was on YouTube on the But if the Cleveland TV. Indians are on, I don't get no love at all. <laughs> <But> see, <laughs> I see Chief Wahoo. I know I'm spending the night alone. But he was see, on her YouTube. See, her mouth is an overload. See what I'm saying? Yeah, like, she... I, 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 I think I see. I think... I wish I didn't, but and... I think I do. <laughs>